This is nighttime luminosity of India in 2012. There is a satellite photograph of in India at nighttime. This is what it looked like in 2012. This is what it looks like today. Let me go back. Back 2012, today. It gives you a very good sense of how electricity usage and supply has spread across the country. And it's quite interesting to see which are the parts of the country where this has dramatically increased. But we can do a, something similar again for other things as well. Here is India's national highway network as of 2011. This is what it looks like now. Back again, this is what it looks like now. You can clearly see dramatic increase, almost doubling of the number of national highways. Here is what the number of operational airports in India in 2016. This is before the Uran scheme. This is what it looks like now. Let me go back once more. And this is what it looks like now. So you can see dramatic increases on all kinds of infrastructure. Let's look at spread of commercial bank branches. This is March 2011. This is what it looks like. Oops. Sorry, this, is, this should be 2021, not 2011. There's a mistake here. But you can see again, 10 years, how, how this branch, commercial, branch branches, uh, commercial bank branches have spread. Just to mention here, this number for March 2021 has actually slightly gone down because of mergers that we ha had in public sector banks. So, so this is after the mergers have already been impacted. There are other ways of using uh, uh, geospatial present, um, representation. Uh, just to give you, this is Delo Delhi Metro in 2011 and 2021. You can see a big change that happened, just as a comparison. Even more dramatic when you look at Bangalore Metro. And the dotted lines, by the way, are the ones that are still in construction. But of course, this is not about just providing a sort of data representation. Um, there is also very, um, there are many interesting ways you can use the data to look at issues that are of interest. So I'm going to very quickly show you something about agriculture and crop cycles. This is a crop cycle. This is Moga district in Punjab through the crop, crop cycle on the Kharif season of 2005. <clears throat> this is how it looked through the cycle in different points in time. The dates are given there. Particularly look at how things were in the 26th of June. And you can see much of the trans transplanting had been already completed. And by July, think the, the crop was well on the way to be growing. And of course, it had to be all be finished by the end of October. And it had to be cleaned up because the Rabi cycle starts by the beginning of November. This is how it was in 2005. Now look at how it is now. This is for the 2021 cycle. And you can see what has happened. End June, it's still completely empty. And it's only in July it sort of gets going, but it's still not fully going. And, but at the end, other end, on the 5th of November, you still have to reach the completely cleared fields because you have to start the Rabi sowing. So this is an interesting thing that you have to adjust to go back so that you see what the difference is. And this is important because essentially what has happened is that the, 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 the crop cycle has moved by two to three weeks. Now this is critical because the gap between the Kharif harvest and the Rabi sowing has essentially disappeared. And so this is an important thing that the farmers therefore, this is one of the re likely reasons that they have to then prepare the fields and probably have to burn their, uh, the, 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 cr the crop remains as a result of the gap having shrunk because they don't have time to clear it any other way. Now, this is an area of study that can be looked at whether this is an important cr contributing factor to air pollution. So I just tried to show you as an example of the kind of data that we can bring to bear using these new kinds of data. Now to the very last bit, I'm going to flick through just to give you some idea of how to look at urbanization and urban development. This is Golf Course Road in Gurugram, 2005. This is what it looks like now. 2005, today. You can even see on the right, top right corner the golf course itself, it exists, and how this is developed. The tech park in Bang Bengaluru, 2002. 
and this is what it looks like today. Bandra Kurla complex, Mumbai, 2001. Mostly empty. This is what it looks like today. This is now our country's financial capital. This is where it all happens. This is what it looks like today. 